Hey, beautiful people, it's Dr. Bacon back from the trees. They were old and awesome and really amazing. I uh, just checked the girls on the Barbie house. A couple of these could go one more day. Um, here in the, uh, in the front, the back two that are early flower are ready, ready for water. So they'll get water in the morning. We like to water in the morning. Because watering at night gives bugs a place to go. So we're gonna water first thing in the morning. Great way to start our day. Quick bit of close-ups while our lighting's good. It's better than it might be tomorrow. Flowers are coming out pretty, pretty quickly here. All right, Kay's doing his thing. That's the Jack Lou. And over there somewhere is Lady Orange. This is our big bud Northern Lights. Hey, we are four days uh, since the watering, the last watering for our clones and they look just fabulous. Could not ask for happier plants right now. And even our little uh, water starters are looking great. Ooh, let's see how thirsty they are. Four days since I watered. That would accept water. That doesn't need water. That would accept water. Yeah, we'll water them. I want to keep them in phase. So we'll give them a feed and watering. Um, let's see what happened down here. Remember, we cut the top off of two plants. That would be this plant. Cut the top off of that plant. So this thing is gonna uh, get trained in two directions. I'm gonna spread it out. Oh, here's here's the other one we we split. That was kind of getting away from us. The African orange clone. Okay, we're gonna just feel how heavy they are. They're still heavy, and we're not gonna do anything to these. These are the cuttings that came off of those two plants I just showed you, and these are clones with, we're just going direct to soil to see if it works. So, why am I not checking on them anymore? I don't wanna even vibrate them around because if they're just starting to make their, their first roots, I don't wanna disturb them. One more pH for tennis ball color. No adjustment after that. These are all going to get one solo cup to the bottom line, which is my feed for one gallon of soil. These two are could get a little lighter. Um, maybe I'll be patient on these. They would accept water though. I think, I think I'll just give them a light watering. This is our Jack o' Lemon clone that didn't make it. We're officially calling this one dead. So not too bad. One clone did not make it out of our batch of attempts and two water only clones. Here is our AK-47 manifold, and this is going to be controversial, but this is coming down on Halloween. 
and everyone says two weeks early, two weeks early. You can't even really find trichomes to look at on these plants. This is a different, it's just a different plant. I've harvested now one other plant, and my friend Ben's harvested many AKs, and they're just, they're, they're just strange. But I tell you what, it is the most soothing flower I've ever uh, experienced. And we've gonna, we're gonna have a decent yield off of this little 150 watt LED light. So don't, don't hate on me um, for taking this thing down in a few days. We are about to reap the benefits of having a scrog net that's not attached to the tent. So I'm going to take this outside and give it its final flush. I think every one of these leaves will fall right off in another day and a half. So there's really not going to be a lot of trimming on this plant. So I'm doing this in the dark because I don't want to uh, disturb the Barbie house girls. Um, and I'm going to run uh, just two full two gallon containers of water through this, this plant, which is uh, excessive. First pass, so a full two gallons through this five gallon pot. And then uh, I'm going to just do it one more time and then let it drain outside a little and call it good. Time for a little weed map maintenance. We got some new people. See, we have in Boston, JR67. Up in Ontario, Justin Bengagi. Justin is new to the map. Uh, let's see, out in Las Vegas, Las Vegas, we have uh, Rack W. I don't know how to pronounce your name, buddy, but you're on the map. Um, let's see what else is new. Justin in Canada. Who else am I missing? Oh, we've got um, John, John Tino. In Portugal, John has signed up as a patron and he's entered in our drawing and he gets to see our video from the mountains. So, John, thank you so much, buddy. Awesome possum. Moving right along, I want to say a special thanks to Douglas Dishram, John's Tino uh, from Portugal, and uh, Brandon Thomas. Uh, you three are our new patron subscribers for the month of October and you are um, entering, we're entering you in the drawing. So these are your entries in the drawing. The drawing is for the Govi. And if you don't win a drawing, you um, are eligible for every drawing of the year if you're a uh, patron. Okay, so we're gonna do that drawing in a few days. Back in here, these guys are still rolling since uh, the watering earlier in their light cycle. I'm going to give these a su super crop this afternoon. They're ready. Um, and I'm going to do a standalone video on that one. And make that just a super crop video. Uh, I've had a lot of people ask for one that was dedicated to that. So I'm going to do that. Um, what is left? Just watering those two plants in the back. I'm um, going to run up there and give them one more poke. The sun is coming up. Oh, these will, these will all accept water, so we'll give them water. Food and water. It's fall. First time I'm wearing pants in the morning at my house. Four months. Um, so we're going to do cow mag, 
the flour food we've been using, some, some unfiltered molasses and our surfactant. And I need to do one and a half of these because I'm watering everything. So I have four, five gallons, so that's 20 cups of water. And then a two and a three, 25 cups of water. This holds 16. So I'll have to do a mix and a half. Here's our pH. We are a little bit on the basic side, a little on the green side. Adjusted pH back to the tennis ball color. So that took about a half a cap full of our pH down. And some of you uh, that were tuned in earlier in the week, I added a 100 watt seedling mat to this and I want to see what our pot temperatures are. Since it's 50 outside, well, this one's around 65, 60, 57 on the surface, go down towards the bottom of this one, 62. So we're adding a little heat to these plants. This one's in the mid 70s and that but it's on the mat a lot more how about this one mid 60s so uh, it's just an effort to see if it helps the growth because I've been growing outdoors in the winter all year round and uh, there's a difference between winter and summer crops and I've had some mentors say it could be root temperature not just the sun so we're going to try to Add a little uh, warmth to these roots. All right, onward. Hey guys, that's it for today. Uh, like and subscribe if this makes you happy. It does make me happy. And um, have the best Friday. Have a great weekend and happy Halloween. See you soon. Bye.